Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to work on a heavy club target squat with an L-sit. This is a combination of several different types of movements. This is a combination of a heavy club squat and what is essentially a boat pose from yoga. We are going to do this with a target. If you are an extremely good athlete, you can do this without a target, but that requires you to squat all the way down until your tailbone touches the ground and to be able to recover from that position. If you've had a lot of knee surgeries, that might not be possible. Very few athletes will get to that level, so we will demonstrate it with a low box. The box that we are going to use as our target is the travel box that I put my adjustable club in when I travel. This is from Harbor Freight. I think it's the 5900. It is the carry-on sized hard case with wheels on the bottom. The first club that we are going to use is an 8X adjustable club system. This is a handle with adjustable weights that allow you to change the weight of your club as you get better. You should always start with a light weight for all of these exercises and add weight over time to make sure that you do not hurt yourself. The most important thing is always that we pick up the club without hurting ourselves. For this exercise, think rotate your upper body several degrees away from the flat line of your upper body, rotate, hips back, feet pointed straight ahead, two hands on the club. You will rotate towards the direction of the bottom hand on the club. If you do not rotate, then your elbow will bend and over time with heavier clubs, you can cause yourself injury. Pull that shoulder back, fire the lat in order to make both elbows straight when you pick the weight up. Stand up with your legs first, legs, then arms. Make sure that your box is directly behind you. You know where it's at. Point two feet straight ahead because that's the way you walk. Squat down. Elbows track inside knees. With this variation of the squat, rock back to get to your box. The weight of the club will determine how far you lean back. Lift your feet up, boat pose your legs. That means perfectly straight legs. I like to throw a little toe point on it. Bring your legs back in, rock forward. Feet pointed straight ahead. Elbows inside the knees. Vertical spine, lift the chest. Drive straight up. Straighten your legs all the way. Hips drive forward, kneecaps pull up, rib cage goes down. Get down. Elbows inside knees. Sit on the box. Rock back, perfectly straight legs. Feet point straight ahead, rock forward. Lift the chest, drive straight up. Straight leg, squeeze the glute, rib cage down. Get down, lean back, straight legs, stand all the way up. Get down, lean back, straight legs, stand all the way up. Straighten both arms out. Set the club down directly between the insteps of your feet. Let's demonstrate it with a heavier club. I think this one is a 50 pound club. The heavier the weight, the more your angle will change when you lean back. Two arms straight. The hand closest to the tip of the club is easy to keep straight. The hand closest to the knob of the club will want to bend. Pull that shoulder back. The heavier the club, the more important that is. Lift with the legs first, power clean, catch. Feet pointed straight ahead, get down. Lean back, straight legs. Feet pointed generally straight ahead, stand up. Get down, lean back, straight legs. Feet pointed generally straight ahead, rock forward. Lift the chest, drive the shoulders away from the ears, Squeeze the lats, stand all the way up. Straight leg, squeeze the glute, rib cage down. Get down, lean back, straight legs, rock forward, drive up. Straight arms, set the weight down directly between the insteps of your leg. Make sure it doesn't fall over if you're on unlevel ground. The long lever means that you have to be more precise and controlled in your positioning in order to keep the weight from tipping. Adding this L-sit 
slows it down even more and forces you to squeeze every muscle in your body. The point of the L sit is that your legs are perfectly straight. That means the same thing you do when you stand up with a heavy weight, straighten your legs, pull your kneecaps up. Same thing is true in the L sit, straighten your legs all the way out, squeeze your quads as hard as possible. Just by getting to the L sit and straightening your legs, you will force your body to squeeze your core even harder. Any front squat, whether it be barbell, kettlebell, dumbbell, or a club fires your core. Anytime you squat with a weight in front of you, you will get core firing. The heavier the weight, the lower the squat, the better. And then if you can add a different position at the bottom, like the L sit, then you can force your core to fire even more. That is the point. This is an exercise that is meant to be slow so that you can hit all the positions. You are learning athletic control. Start light, build heavy, pick it up with good technique, and always make sure you set it down with good technique.